All right, guys, so let's start working on some of this section here on the tutorial. So let's go to top view and let's create a sketch. Select the 2D plane. Let's just rotate this back around. And without further ado, let's use our two point rectangle like always. And we're gonna start from this center line here. And what we're gonna do is just outline this giant rectangular shape. So from this center point right around here, we'll click. Make sure it's on this line. If not, we'll fix it later on. We're gonna enter the values uh, 3.025 millimeters, hit tab. Then we're gonna enter 0 0.498, then hit enter. That should leave us with a giant rectangle uh, outlining this reference here. And let's just ensure this top line is uh, at this line here. And if not, we'll just select it and drag it up. And it doesn't matter if it extends beyond it, as long as it's not underneath it. Now what we're gonna do is just uh, select the line tool here. And from this point, we we'll select on this line and follow this reference. Somewhere around here, just click again. We'll just drag it all the way down to the end of this rectangle. Close that out. And if it's done correctly, we should be able to select this profile, then right click, press pull. And let's rotate the view to the side view and just pull this up a bit. And once we have matched the reference, we're gonna go here to one side and select two sides. So we can grab this bottom arrow and just line this up here, right around here. That looks good. Change from cut to new body. Let's hit OK. Now what I like to do is just turn off this canvas so we can actually see what we just created. So we should have this shape here. Now what I want to do is uh, create a sketch and let's just uh, select this surface here and turn back on our reference after creating a sketch. So we can kind of see what we're doing. Let's just use a two point rectangle once again. And uh, somewhere right where we started this rectangle shape, we're just gonna follow this reference. And let's go beyond this little uh, rectangular piece here, right around here. And if it's done correctly, we should have two rectangle pieces. And we'll select both of these by shift selecting and right click, press pull. And we'll just bring this inwards a bit so we can cut this shape out of here. But instead of changing it to cut, we're gonna change it to new body so we don't cut any access area. So new body, hit okay. Now we go to combine. And we'll just go over here to the left side of the bodies. And we'll select these two, change it to cut. And we have that shape cut out. So let's turn back off the canvas. And we want this shape here. Now let's uh, select this face, go to create sketch. Now I'm gonna go down to create and go to slot. Select center to center slot. And just from this center point here, and click once, drag all the way down, and just click again and bring it upwards to match this reference. And let's right, hit, right click, hit OK, and we'll just adjust this if we need to better match it. And that looks great. Now we'll just right click on the profile and press pull, and we'll just bring this inwards just a bit. So right around here, make up 0 0.29 should be fine. Hit cut. Now let's go back to the right view, and we'll select this surface and create a sketch, and we'll just follow that same slot shape as well. Center, center slot, so somewhere around here. Into here should be fine. This looks good, and let's just select the profile, press pull, and we'll just cut this shape out of this body. That looks great. Now let's turn off the canvas, and we should have this shape here. That's not too bad, so hopefully I didn't lose anyone. So let's back go back to the right view, and let's start working on some of this shape. So we'll just, uh, Go to the top view, select this surface here, then create a sketch. And let's grab our two point rectangle. We're just gonna create a giant rectangle in the inner area of this. So somewhere from the center line, always on the center line, cause we're gonna mirror this all over later on. We're gonna go all the way to the bottom right corner, but not to the corner exactly. Just give it a little bit of space and we'll just select the profile, press pull it. Now we can go back to the right view and we can reference this as we pull this up. And it's all right if you don't have the exact uh, measurement in the front area, because when we make this a new body, we hold OK, and we'll select this front face and press pull. And we just want this uh, to line up with the bottom left corner. So somewhere around here looks good. We'll hit OK. And let's, uh, we'll go to Modify Draft. 
But before we do that, let's turn off this body underneath that we created prior to this. Select the bottom, then the front face. And that allows us to draft this off and get that angle to match the reference. And this shouldn't be too new to anyone, just um, repeating the same methods over and over. Now we're gonna hit F to go into fillet mode, and let's just round this off. So we'll round this off to match this line here on the reference. So somewhere around here, hit OK. Now I wanna slice off this, so we'll create a sketch on the 2D background. And let's use our line tool. So somewhere around here, we just wanna slice this area off. So let's click here. Make sure we're matching the reference. And we don't have to drag the line all the way down because lines are infinite, like we know. So we'll just right click hit OK and go to finish sketch. Now go to modify, split body, select our body. And for the splitting tool will be that line we just created. Hit OK. Now we can go to the left and click on that body, right click and go to remove. Now, if we just toggle back on that body we turned off earlier, we can select this surface and create a sketch. And now we're gonna use our line tool and just follow this reference. So from the bottom area around here, from the bottom line, just click once, go up and just follow this. And we're gonna go from here all the way to the end of the rectangle. Right click, hit okay. Now we have this surface. Now we can uh, select this and then right click, press pull. And we just bring this in somewhere around here. That looks great. Make sure it's on cut and hit okay. So let's go back to the right view. Let's turn off the canvas to see what kind of shape we have so far. Looking pretty good. So let's turn back on the canvas and let's start getting some of this detail. Select the surface and create a sketch. Now let's use our uh, rectangle tool and we're just gonna draw a giant rectangle from this top area. We're gonna go to the bottom right. So that's to give you a giant uh, rectangle so we can press pull this. And we're just gonna press pull this uh, maybe around here. Do not go all the way through because we need some surface to create a sketch once we're done. So once that's on cut, hit OK. And let's turn off our canvas and let's select this surface here and go to create sketch, finish sketch. And that gives us a profile that we can now uh, press pull. So we'll just press pull this. And let's bring it to somewhere around here and change that operation from cut to new body. And now let's hit F to enter fillet mode. And we'll select this line here. Not the entire line, just this little rectangle top area in the bottom. And we'll just bring this in to round this off. And this looks fine here. So let's just hit OK to finalize that operation. Now back in the right view, what we're gonna do is go to create sketch, select the 2D background. And we're gonna use our two point rectangle once again. And we're gonna start uh, to get this shape here on the reference. So uh, somewhere beyond this body here, we're just going to click and then match this reference. And we can pull this up just to get a better matching. Hit finish sketch. Now we're going to press pull this just on the right side. We're going to pull this somewhere around here, not extend it beyond that other body and change it to new body. Hit OK. Hopefully I'm not, uh, you know, confusing anyone. So let's turn off this canvas and let's hit after enter fillet mode. And we're just going to round this all the way off. Let's bring this down a bit lower so there's no line here. And once we're satisfied, hit OK. And now we're gonna to go to Modify Split Body, select our body we just created, and we're gonna select this face on this previous uh, body here and this surface here, and hit OK so we can split off both these ends. So let's go to the bodies and right click and remove both these access areas. Now that that's complete, let's just turn back on this canvas. And we are making really good time, guys. We're moving pretty quick. So let's go back to the side view here. And let's select this surface on this previous body we created and let's create a sketch. Now let's use our line tool. We're just gonna follow this reference so we can start cutting some of these pieces out of this body just to get a more uh, prominent shape, more defined. From this bottom line, following this canvas. Let's do one more from this bottom. We'll just go up and all the way over to the end. And if it's not all the way over, just pull it so we can select these profiles here, right click and press pull. And we're gonna press pull these all the way through the other end and ensure the operation is on cut and hit okay. Well, we've made a lot of progress in this video, so hopefully you guys enjoyed this. We're gonna be uh, finishing up this, um, the blocking out here in a couple of videos. So I'll catch you guys in the next one.